Hello friends, you are welcome. This is soft reason. In this lesson, I will be presenting to you an irregular foundation, family creation, or footings in Revit. Just like this, we will be creating an irregular foundation footing family. Okay, so quickly, let us go into the lesson. But before we go into the lesson fully, I want to quickly uh, say that you should uh, give this lesson a thumbs up, for it gives me the morale to bring to you more lesson. Okay, so let's fully start. All right, so where we are at this interface, we go straightly straight away to family, and then click on new. Select English and then we will scroll down, scroll down to structural foundation and then click on open. Alright. Before we proceed, we will be drawing a reference plane. So I will go straight away to reference plane. This one click. And I will have a, a vertical reference plane. Just like this, uh, two of these. And then two of also this reference plane at this left side, just like that. The same thing I'll be having vertical reference plane. I'll be having vertical reference plane. Also, two just like that, and two of the reference plates also at this bottom side. All right, so having this reference plane like this, I want to give it. A dimension, so I'll go to linear and I will dimension this reference plane. The first one to this point and that point. After which, I'll hit on the equal sign to have it equal. Then I'll now dimension from the outer one at the left to the outer one at the right so I'll add something like that I will also do the same thing for the inner reference plane I'll click on equals and also dimension the inner one center so this center just like that then I'll come to this vertical axis and I will do the same thing. You just have to take note of what I'm doing so you can be able to follow up successfully. All right. I will be explaining what I'm doing in detail in a minute. Alright, so this reference plane consists of uh, the base and the top. So if you look at it critically, you will notice that I am having a uh, four reference plane at the vertical and also at the horizontal. And so these two inner reference plane is going to consist of the top of the foundation footing while the outer reference plane is going to consist of the bottom so let's proceed and just be uh, observable just be uh, looking very 
well so that you can have a good understanding of what is going on so if i, if I go to this property and i click on this uh, family type property you will notice that i have an existing uh, parameters here the length and the thickness all of that these ones are inbuilt and so you can uh, also add your own okay i cancel this one for now i want to be labeling this uh, uh, foundation uh, uh footings uh, dimension so i will collect click on this uh, first dimension and i will come over here i have length here so i want to just give this one to this particular first uh out out dimension to be length just like that then this one i'll call it the width you get that all right so this is the base dimension of the footing so for me to give this one name now what i will do i will select that come over here to the label provisions our label, uh, label dimension panel click on this uh, create parameters and i'll give it a name as a uh, length one just like that so this is like this all right length one click on okay i'll give it that name for this one i'll give it name as uh width with one so i'll click this point all right i'll be having something like this click on okay so i've successfully given a the top constraint of the footings and the bottom a uh, label so after having that done the next thing i want to be looking at is to start creating my sketch so i will go straight away to create i will be using blend click on that so once i click on that it's asking me to edit top so the top is going to consist of uh, this inner uh the top is going to consist of uh, this inner provision this inner uh bounded with a uh, reference plane okay so i will go straight away on the drop panel click on that rectangle to pick this point and pick this point so this is the inner this is the inner uh the inner reference plane that make up the the top of the irregular uh foundation footing i will select this command at first before I proceed to edit the bottom, I want to be doing something. And what is that? I want to get the dimensions of this. So I'll go straight away to click on align dimension. I will get the vertical dimension, right? And then the horizontal dimension. So after having this done successfully, I will select the, the command, select these dimensions and level it to be length one this one okay so i'll come to this level and then i'll select length one all right then i'll light the vertical dimension label it as width one this one click on that all right after having that done successfully i will straight away click on this edit top it will now prompt me to edit the bottom constraint so what i will do the same thing click on the rectangle the bottom constraint consists of the outer bounded area for of the reference plane which is from this point yes from this point i'll zoom closely so i can pick the exact point all right from there to this point so once that is done successfully i'll deselect the command and then i'll give it a dimension a vertical dimension just like that and the original uh, horizontal uh, dimension once that is done deselect this command select this and then give it a label as width this time around is going to be width just like this All right and then for the horizontal dimension select the dimensions and give it the name as length just like that so you can also see the difference between uh length one with one length length and length one width and width one all right 
So that is how it works. Okay, for the for the extrude end, I will be giving it a height of a uh, one meter for the extrude end. I'm giving it a height of one meter, and then I will click on the finished edit mode now. So once I finish edit mode, you can see what I'm having. Okay, so I will go straight away to the front to actually see what I'm having here. So this is what I'm having. Okay. Now I want to be editing this extrude end. So I will be adding minus sign here because I want it to start from the I want it to start from the reference level. So I will put a minus sign here. Right, so if I put a minus sign here, you can see what I'm now having. So this is the irregular uh, foundation uh, footings. Now I want to proceed to also level the thickness, but by then I will be dimensioning this thickness, which is one meter, just like that. Okay, after dimensioning that, I select this command, select the dimension, come to this level provisions, label it as foundation thickness. Alright, that is it. So I want to also be locking this foundation to the reference plane. Okay, for me to do that, I'll go straight away to align, select the foundation, the reference plane, and then the top of the foundation. Then I will lock it up just like that. This ready command. I go back to reference level. At this reference level, I want to be testing this to see how flexible it is. Because we have done with our irregular foundation say uh creation okay so we want to be testing it i'll go straight away to family type dialog so these are the dimensioning we are having all right let's look at the length and the width now so we are having the length to be 2.4 we want to take it to be uh 1500 just like that uh by 1500 Okay, if you click on apply, let's see the, how effective it is. So you can see it is very, very effective. Everything adjusted uh, simultaneously. So you just look at length one to be 800. Okay. And then uh, with one to be also 800. Okay. 800, you click on apply. So you see, so it is quite very, very effective and it is flexible. So I want to be creating multiple of uh, these two, two of these uh, sizes, okay? Two of different sizes of this irregular shape, okay? So for me to do that, I'll go straight away to uh, the new tab, click on that. Once I click on that, I will look at the length of this foundation, which is the 1500. And then X, I will look at also the width, which is the width of the base, okay? width of the base which is 1500 just like that and then i will proceed to look at the width one okay the length one which is uh, 800 okay x and then the width two which is uh also 800 all right x then the height which is the thickness okay which is uh one meter i will be having something of this kind i click on ok to have this all right so once i click on ok i can also rename it if i double if i click on this point like i will need to have a mm here mm all right because it's a millimeter after which click on apply okay once i click on apply you see i have uh, named this you can name multiple of this depending of the depending on uh how you the dimension you wish to use okay you give different dimension and then you have different of this okay so uh, for the sake of this lesson we will be having only one of these okay you can't give it different dimensioning and different irregular shape uh, because we have already created the family successfully constrain the way to add material click on this point there you see material okay and then it will actually take you to a dialog where you can be able to select a material for 
for the family we will be considering this concrete casting place that one click on okay applied and then uh okay all right so we have successfully created this we want to save this uh irregular foundation footing okay for us to do that go to file and then come to save as family we can choose to save it to the desktop so we can just click your desktop and then can just type uh, irregular regular fit footage just like that click on to save all right so having saved this you can't close this one and then open a new project come to this point and then you come to new you'll be able to open a new project uh you come down to structural uh, matrix structural templates and you open a new project so once you have a new project like this you can now come back to the level and then be able to load this uh irregular foundation footing into the project so click on load into project so you can now see it here so you just have to click to place that as many as you wish okay to check it in the 3D, you will be having something like this. So this is the wireframe of what we just did. You can just make it hidden lines, or you can share it as well. To actually see what we have done. So this is the regular foundations. You can edit it if you select it there. Come to the edit type. You can see these are the various uh width, length, as well as thickness. You can also change the material. It is quite very flexible. So this is how you can successfully uh, carry out an irregular foundations family creation uh, in Revit. So I believe uh, you have learned one thing. Don't forget to give the lesson a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson. As I bring to you soon another advanced lesson. Uh, bye for now.